Well, my friend and uh, fellow collector Josh is back in town, and he brought with him two machines that I could test. Um, this is the first of them, a Dyson DC-22, which has the uh, digital motor in it. Now, this one's a turbine head, and as he's told me, it has the uh, controls in the handle, but there are no electrical connections. He tells me there are, oh yeah, there are the batteries. So this is most likely like a radio frequency type switch in here. And I've had a look at both of the filters already. I thought it was strange it had two of them. I figured it would only need one being digital. But uh, the pre-motor filter is pretty massive. And then the post-motor filter on the underside wasn't nearly as large. And then we have a turbine head on here, which is a really strange design. I mean, Dyson heads have always looked kind of strange, but this one, I mean, it looks strange compared to the ones I've seen, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's take the electrical measurements off of this and then we'll get on to the testing and we'll see if the digital motor really provides any performance benefits over the uh, standard brush ones. At this point, I have measured both a DC-11 and a DC-39, so I mean, we have some comparison, but I think a 23 or a non-digital DC-22, if they even had those, would be more of an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, but we don't have one of those. Why don't we... So leaving it on in standby mode consumes just a little bit of electricity, but that's kind of normal for a machine with boards in it. But we have this... Well, that's not going to... Uh, we'll turn that a little. Just to take that bend out of it. Alright, so we just have this attached here with a little converter piece. So let's take a flow measurement. Seems to be it. Now we'll take a suction measurement. I'm sure like a lot of them, it will probably have a release gauge. Oh, and it shuts down if it's clogged. Well, I mean, obviously it's suction is on the higher side. <laughs> um, and we got the wand on, so we'll take the airflow. We don't seem to be moving, and we'll try this again, and it's collapsing the wand. Okay, we're going to try this fully collapsed because it's, uh, it's not cooperating. Yeah, we got some serious leakage. It's not really min meant to be used like that. 
because I mean when it's fully extended that seems to be the only point at which it's sealed off and I mean the resulting pressure caused by blocking it off causes it to retract so we're not really going to be able to take a suction reading at the end of this wand here <laughs> uh, oh well so this is a very very small nozzle and um, I have a feeling we're going to experience a lot of nose diving when I try to take the suction test. So we're going to do the two airflow tests first, once with the turbine on and once with it off. And uh, yeah, then we'll try to do the suction test. That way I don't break my seal. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, turbine's on. Turn it off. Well, not much better, but clearly there's not much space in the nozzle for air to move. So let's turn that back on. You know, I'm quite glad he brought this machine here because, I mean, I was quite interested in seeing if they were, uh, you know, superior to the brushed ones. And so far off of what I've seen, no, they really aren't. I mean, you know, the only real difference is, you know, it's a little more complicated having a brushed motor. And, you know, you won't have carbon dust, but, you know, the performance is very very similar from an airflow and suction standpoint, and this turbine, I can see why they didn't continue to use it. I mean, I liked the, uh, I liked the 39 nozzle quite a bit better, and, uh, the 26 nozzle, I thought, was maybe a little better, although that was smaller, but, you know, this just, it, it's really small, <laughs> and, uh, you know, obviously, being a turbine tool, we're not going to have great airflow at the end of it. But I'm glad I got the opportunity to test this. I've been eyeing a, a Motorhead DC-22 on eBay, and now it's kind of like, well, I've seen what they're capable of, and now I know, you know, that's not worth it. it which is not to say, you know, this is some horrific monstrosity of a machine. It's just, you know the you know the benefit of this is just not really there so yeah